Hi there. Every now and then you learn something cool and that's a hint. It wasn't long ago there would have been half a mile of ice right over my head. Well, it was more like 15,000 years ago. It came from over there and it went back. And I don't know why it went back. Maybe it was global warming. It was called the Wisconsin Glacier. And all that's left of it is the Great Swamp that's over there. Well, that and the giant boulders here and there that the glacier dropped when it left. That swamp is in the way if you're heading inland from New York Harbor across the peninsula that is New Jersey. The Native Americans who commuted from the Delaware to the Hudson Rivers because they could walked across the swamp on what we call the Lenape Trail. On one of their trips, they brought some Sakasana. Now that's Lenape for black rock, but it's almost pure iron. And the old worlders saw it, recognized its value, and wanted more. Explorers found that the trail crossed a giant vein of iron six miles from where the forest began again on the other side of the swamp. They also found the Whippany River, which dropped 65 feet in half a mile. They combined its water power, wood for charcoal and for building, and a road, well, a trail to start a forge. It birthed Northwest New Jersey's giant iron industry bigger than Pittsburgh's for 150 years. So should you ask why when you go on walks? Sure. But the lesson is to make 2 plus 2 equal 357 or 10 times that. That's called synergy. If you take your resources and your assets and combine them in the right way, you can build a skyscraper or even a city we started with wood, water, and black rocks. I'm Mike for the Be More Better team. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. Please comment, like, subscribe if you haven't, but always, always be more better. Body, mind, and spirit. And then be even more better when you share that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. And by the way, Native Americans didn't have the technology to build an iron forge in 1715, but members of the Mohawk tribe of the Iroquois are legendary for building skyscrapers. And another, by the way, Parliament ordered all American iron be sent to England to be made into nails and hinges and whatevers. It was sold back at a huge profit to the Americans. You know, if you forbid someone from making stuff with their own materials, they get pissed off. The American Revolution was fueled in part by that sentiment. And now a last, by the way, it's easier to bring the iron to the river than the river back to the iron. You know, the Whippany is still filled with tons of iron, of slag, and even glass made from molten sand. Someday we're going to rebuild that forge to honor those who built using Synergy. And now a shout out to Joe, who taught me about iron. This has been a pleasure. Until the next one, bye now. I don't know why it came to visit or if global warning.